I wasn't sleeping much. I wasn't eating much. I was losing a lot of weight. Um, I just wasn't feeling good. Felt tired, dizzy, nauseous, uh, all of the above. So um, I called my, my mom and dad and I just said, I, I can't play anymore. Walk me through what this year is like for you. Obviously had a concussion last year, kind of felt meh in the summer, came back, felt really good. Gabriel Landeskog throws the brakes on, finds Byram, and he scores! Number one in the NHL for Bowen Byram. I was playing really well at the start of the year. I think I played 10 or 11 games and then got elbowed by Horvat. Just a weird play. Ooh, an elbow right in the face. And Bowen Byram is going straight to the Avalanche dressing room. Came back from that. And then I was just kind of bouncing in and out of the lineup, not feeling great some days, feeling okay others. And then I finally decided I need to step away for a while um, and really figure out what's going on. It's hard, especially with a head injury. You know, I don't have a cast on, I don't need surgery. Um, there's nothing that you can look at and be like, something's wrong with this guy. The mental aspect of that is a battle. I heard you called your, your parents. What was that called? Like phone call was was a little emotional for sure yeah, yeah um, what was that like like talking to your parents about that and yeah it was hard you're a young guy this is your dream being a young guy it can be intimidating admitting that something's wrong um you want to be playing you know it's only my first real year in the league i want to be playing games um so it's hard to admit it to myself as well you know i was in to be completely honest a bit of a dark place for a while with Bo, it was extra hard just because he had to go through all that during COVID, right? His mom and I think his dad helped and came from Canada, but it, it was tough for people to get into the U.S. when he was going through these, these head problems. And the concussion on top of being a little bit isolated was probably tough on him. To see him kind of, you know, be depressed and, and kind of, you know, just not feeling it and not being himself was, was hard. Just missing the time you feel for a guy, especially a young guy coming into the league and um, having a bit of a rocky start and you don't want to pr put pressure on a guy that's not feeling his best like that um, but we're just making sure he knew we were there for him. Fire over to Contreras and he scores! Now you know you're back and you come out on the other side you know you talk about the dark place you know talk about what it feels like and what what hockey means to you. When I first stopped playing I I don't think I thought about hockey for a couple months it wasn't even on my mind and then you start to feel better again and you get on the ice and you get the drive back a little bit, you know what I mean? And then slowly started to get better and then I was like, geez, I might be able to play. Then you get excited, you know? Once he kind of got feeling better and came back to us, it's just been a huge lift to our group and he's made a huge impact. Here's Paul Byron over the line towards Rantanen. Rantanen shot, scores! To see what he's turned into this year after coming through that. It's a testament to his hard work and, um, and his mindset. It's easy to get frustrated when we're in that situation. He came back and he put in the work and did the right things to be playing at this level. The whole time that he took to kind of figure everything out, we knew he was gonna get back and I knew that he knew that deep down and obviously it's never fun to go through things like that, but his play is obviously, it's been incredible for us this playoffs. He's been so good. It's awesome to see the success that he's had. He got himself right, he took the time he needed and credit to him, he's really upped his game when he needed it the most. In my opinion, he, he'd be in the rookie of the year conversation if he played all year, he's that good. The way that he has played this game tonight, he is complete control. He has been moving the puck. He's been jumping up into the play. He's been creating. I am a fan. He's got some pizzazz, this kid. You think that outlook now has kind of made you come to the rink differently after getting through this and, and understanding yourself and you know what it means to you? I think it just really led me to understand how grateful I am to be healthy and uh, being able to play in the NHL. I mean, a lot of kids dream about it and to be here doing it is special. Kind of getting a taste of not having it anymore and not sure if you're ever gonna have it again. Uh, it means a little more to me. Coming to the rink is a privilege um, and I just wanna enjoy it. I wanna, I wanna have fun, I wanna play hockey, I wanna play good, I wanna win. I'm very happy and very lucky to be where I am right now.